Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, nitrogen and its compounds. And uh, today I would like us to look at the preparation of aqueous ammonia. So during uh, our preparation of ammonia gas, we saw that ammonia is a highly soluble gas. And therefore, when it dissolves in water, it forms aqueous ammonia. And during the preparation of aqueous ammonia, uh, we dissolve the ammonia gas in water through a funnel, as shown in the diagram. So we prepare ammonia gas by heating a mixture of ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. <coughs> and the gas is produced at this point. So to prepare aqueous ammonia, we dissolve ammonia gas in water via the funnel or through the funnel. And this funnel provides a large surface area for the gas to dissolve in water. So remember, the gas is highly soluble in water. Also, the funnel should just be placed near the surface of the water, just uh, a few centimeters into the water to prevent the sucking back of the water because this water can be sucked, all of it, into the combustion area, which would make the hot apparatus to break or to crack. So... This is how preparation of aqueous ammonia is done. What we refer to as the ammonia solution. So when dissolving ammonia gas in water, A funnel is used to provide a large surface area. A funnel is used to provide a large surface area. for the gas to dissolve. The funnel should be placed on the surface of the water to prevent sucking back to prevent sucking back of water to prevent sucking back of this water into the apparatus So we can also say that uh, the high solubility of the water can be demonstrated by use of what is called a fountain experiment. High solubility of ammonia gas can also be demonstrated using the fountain 
experiment as shown below. <coughs> so we have the fountain experiments experiment. So in this experiment, uh, we put water plus universal indicator. Sorry. Yeah, so we put water plus universal indicator into a trough. Into a trough. And then... Uh, using the clip, we have a clip here. We open the clip to allow the water and the universal indicator to enter into uh, this tube up to the jet area. So we have a jet here. We have a jet that allows small quantities of water. So up to the time the jet is full. And then... Inside the flask, uh, we have ammonia gas. So what happens is, uh, when the jet is full, we should open the clip to release only one drop of water plus universal indicator into the flask. And once that drop of water gets into the flask, it dissolves all the ammonia gas that is in this flask and that creates a vacuum and that creates a vacuum and because of the atmospheric pressure that uh, that is acting on the water here then there is the formation of a fountain as the water occupies the space that was initially occupied by the ammonia. So it forms a blue fountain. So a blue fountain is formed. We form a blue fountain and that is because when there is universal indicator and it combines with water and ammonia, which is now the ammonia solution, it turns the universal indicator blue. And that's what makes now the fountain to be blue. So this is what you are calling the fountain experiment. So you are saying that just a single drop of water plus universal indicator mixture dissolves all the ammonia gas inside here. And that creates a vacuum inside the flask. And that's what makes now the formation of the fountain. So this is the fountain experiment. Showing the solubility of ammonia. Have the flask here. So that is as far as the preparation of aqueous ammonia is concerned. So the two questions in the assignment describe the fountain experiment, as we have done. Uh, two, explain why ammonia gas is dissolved in water through a funnel. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.